Fedora 43 has been released and in this video I'll show you how to install it on your computer. First of all visit the site fedoraproject.org then you can choose the first option which is GNOME version or the second one which is a KDE version. I am going with the GNOME one. After that choose your CPU architecture. I am choosing Intel and AMD. Choose yours accordingly. Second step is to create a bootable USB drive. For this you can choose your own utility but the recommended one is Fedora Media Writer. While others may work fine, Fedora Media Writer is the official one and it is almost guaranteed to work. Two important warnings here. If you have anything on your USB drive, it will be deleted permanently. So plan according to that. And second, do not forget to take backup of important files in your existing Windows or Mac or Linux installation. Even if you are going to choose dual boot, you never know when something goes wrong and you lose all your files. Now, if you are on Mac or Windows, you can download the Fedora Media Writer by visiting this link and after that follow the normal installation steps. In Windows, you might get this screen. Don't worry, click on more info and it will show you the run anyway button and you can continue from there. If you are on Linux, you can install it through Flathub by using these commands. Once installed, start Fedora Media Writer and select the correct ISO file and follow the next steps. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes to create the bootable USB drive. Now restart your system and go to the boot menu options. To go to the boot menu, I pressed F12 but you'll have to press the function key based on your motherboard. It could be F2 or F8 or F10 or any other. I got a screen like this but you may get a different one based on your motherboard. Choose the USB option and continue. It is checking if everything is fine with the bootable drive. You can also skip it by pressing the escape key. Now the live installation has loaded. You can continue directly but it's good to wait and check if overall things are fine. You can check if your Wi-Fi sound and other stuff are working fine. Once you have checked those stuff, you can start the installation wizard from here. Choose your language and keyboard layout. Then you have to choose your installation method which is the most important and critical step here. You have to be really careful here if you want a dual installation, choose the first option that is share disk with the operating systems. I am choosing the use entire disk option because I am removing the existing operating system and completely replacing it with Fedora 43. Choose according to what your goals are. Be very careful in this step. Review if everything looks correct and safe and choose the next option. This one is going to take 5 to 10 minutes or even more. I am fast forwarding it. Once you see the success message, you can close it and restart your system. After restarting, you get the remaining settings to be completed. Choose your time zone and username and password and you are ready to enjoy your brand new workstation.